awesome Windows Manager. Uh, why don't we install this one? Okay, so let's look at download here. So we're going to download. We are only using, let's see, I want to use a stable version. So can we just run awesome then? There it is. Let's see, what do we have in here? Awesome. Uh, let's exit then. Let's go Y. Okay. Let's go log out. I'm just going to go log out. Start X. Okay, so we have awesome running. So we've got a couple of windows up here at the top. Awesome. Hotkeys, manual, edit config, hotkeys. Okay. Wow. Okay, so it says super plus enter to open the terminal. <laughs> Get clone the dot files. So we're downloading everything real hit quick here. All right, let's see what we get now. Do we want to just go ahead and jump in there and try it? All right, I'm just going to close back out of these windows real quick. We're going to log out and then we're going to go start X. Can I go right here to settings and then display? Let's change this resolution. Uh, let's hit apply here. Yes, but I don't think it did anything there. Go here. We're going to go pack in. And there is our termite editor. Okay, B-A-R-U. Uh, GitHub, and let's see what we get here. Okay, so this is a featured packed AUR. So this is the Arch user repository. This is where uh, the community can build some of these things. Let's go and let's see how we would install this thing. Okay, so there's a few commands here. Uh, let's just go ahead and run a few of these. Uh, it says we do need the base uh, development package. I am pretty sure we do have that already. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll paste here anyway. And there it goes. There's nothing to do there because we already had it all installed. Let's take a git clone here. Let's go copy. Uh, let's run this one. And once that finishes, we're going to go over to CD into it. And then we're going to make a package. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's uh, install into it. And let's now run uh, make package dash SI. Uh, let's see here. So there are two extra providers available for cargo. You got Rust and then repository community. Boom. Why? retrieving packages. I guess folks that we're going to be downloading uh, the entire uh, Rust uh, programming language here. Uh, we customized this prompt a bit. Uh, we can do all kinds of, you know, kind of cool things. We've got some of the auto -com completion things that's happening there. As you can see, that was like highlighted. Um, also commands that are like valid. You can see them pop up here in green. Uh, and if, if it's a command that doesn't work, so like Twitch here, you can see it's red before actually topping out like I would normally do top all this random stuff. And then, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably go back over to our temp here, a uh, git clone, and we're going to run this. Uh, and now we'll go into polybar. We're going to run our make PKG which we've ran before. Let's see if we get our package. Let's go this, let's go Y, and uh, I'm gonna let this run uh, really quick. It's only, it says it's only 20 megs. Uh, let's see what we get. I would like to at least see Awesome Window Manager opened up and running, uh, at least at kind of a default a type of thing. Okay, looking for C++. A couple uh, fonts that weren't found. We're going to go config and there is the poly bar. Actually, I think I should just go ahead and grab all of these. I don't think this will mess up any of the other ones that we had. We're going to go in our own dot config right here. Let's go ahead and put these all in here. 
we're just going to go um, replace all and let this finish. While this last one's finishing building up, poly bar is completely done. We can close out of that command. And we're going to go log out. And we're going to go log out, start X. Yeah, why is all of this text moving? Yeah, that is a bit odd, is it not? When you open a new task, it should appear at the bottom. Ah, so when we've been opening some of these things, uh, we should see something down at the bottom. Try opening more terminals. Whee! I could not get the display to set, which I think would fix a few of these things up. So display here, it always goes back to the 1024 and I can't really move this to anything else. This is just 19. See, nothing happens right here. Okay, let's do it friends. X R N R, and it doesn't even have 1920 by 1080. Goodness. I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> Everybody wants me to install nitrogen. We are going to do it, fam. First says background, so we'll go one then. We're gonna go yes. And we're retrieving some packages here. Nitrogen set centered slash desktop dash dash save. We'll kill out of this one. Okay, okay, okay. Cool retro term. <laughs> okay, so cool retro term. All of the window management just occurs automatically. So if I come back in here and I grab a new tab, say I throw it over there, uh, it does all of this management pieces by itself. And down at the bottom, I see a new tab, a new tab, and then that's if you want to expand them, right? Let's go to accessories and let's go this. We're going to go to our, let's see, let's go to a parley bar mb crump config polybar let's go to our config file here uh go to line 319 all right we have the weather here network speed down that's not showing right now network speed up is not showing memory is on there cpu is on there uh temperature 2 PA volume, and then battery. A few that I know we'll get rid of. We'll get rid of the network speed stuff. Um, I'm not that interested in that part of it. Module center. I do not use a Spotify. The no sensors found looks like it comes in this one. And that's just these temperature sen sensors. I don't really use any of that. A volume and then a battery. Window shift R. Fixed. <laughs> if you like the content, obviously follow the stream here. I'd greatly appreciate you doing that. We also have our Discord. We have our YouTube. Have a fantastic afternoon, evening, etc.